With me I have Barry Rukuro, the Secretary General of the Namibia Football Association. Now Barry, this is a great announcement today. Um, the NFA Cup finally going to continue again after an absence of a year or two um, with Bitvest, Bitvest Bit, uh, Namibia as the main sponsor. Just tell us how did this come about and the um, amounts involved. No, uh, uh, I mean as the NFA we are very, very excited. Uh, this negotiation started about six months ago uh, when we approached Bitwest Namibia uh, you know, with regard to this particular uh, competition and uh, Bitwest was very, very keen and uh, the negotiations then started. Uh, we agreed that uh, going forward we will have to conclude this uh, agreement before NFA will open discussions with any other partner. We wrote to each other committing to that uh, agreement and uh, uh, late last year we, uh, we we got what that uh, Bitwest Namibia board uh, has uh, agreed to invest in the game uh, which was a very great announcement I think for the football family uh, particularly for the inner circle because at that stage uh, the discussions were not uh, common knowledge to many people around uh, the country so uh, and, and we were very 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 excited about it and uh, so we agreed on the dates and everything and when it's supposed to happen and so on. And more and more people started to get wind of uh, the discussions and, and eventually the, uh, when the invites were done to this event, uh, it all of a sudden became public news. Uh, but we are here today, it was a great event. Uh, it caught a lot of people by surprise. Uh, you have seen the cup itself, it's uh, something that has never been seen here in the country before and uh, uh, we have we had a very successful launch today uh, which is something that uh, we hope will have set the tone for the competition going forward until the very final uh, we, 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 we want to do our best as the football family uh, as the football administrators and we are calling upon the football family to really come forward and support the competition because uh, as a football association, we can only bring sponsors. But I think the thing that keeps sponsors sponsoring football is the amount of support they get from the general public with regard to the competitions. And that keeps them uh, in, in the game. So we have brought in, now it's for the general public to keep the sponsors here. So, and we are going, continuing to work hard. You know, very soon we might make another announcement with regard to another competition at another level of our game. Uh, but that depends on how the negotiations will, 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 will go, how fast the negotiation will move forward. Right, Barry, now we had the draw today, interesting lineup there, Pirates playing uh, Black Africa. But when exactly will the tournament kick off and what's the money involved? The, the, re the, 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 the elimination round will start this weekend in all the 13 regions of the country and the first divisions, after which we will we'll then... Uh, uh, move into the competition proper, which will start in the first week of February, in the second week of February. Yes. Um, the total amount uh, invested in actual football is an amount of 2.5 million per year, which is a great start for any sponsor to come into the game. Uh, we have worked in a, an escalation clause, uh, you know, which will be annually be adjusted and I think more and more money will come into the game and uh, yeah uh, uh, clubs from the lower regions in their local competitions in the regional competition will benefit immensely from this sponsorship